Hey guys, Tony Soy Sas Sas, and welcome back to another cigar review. I don't know why I keep torturing myself this way, but here's another torture video, and probably most likely gonna be double review because I'm gonna remind Eric, go do your damn review on this cigar. Okay, so today we are doing the Davidoff of Geneva, USA Wagner Special 2004. Okay, I had this for a while now. It's been sitting in my humidor because I'm afraid to smoke this. But as it goes, it gets more mellow. So I'm hopefully now it's mellow enough to smoke, all right? So this is how it looks like. And you can see some of the member already took some. Um, and you know, when we bought this, we bought it as like a, a semi group buy. So I have a few more left uh, this way, a few more left. And I give one to Eric. And just some documentation on top, you can. I can probably read it to you. Uh, basically, originally it was released in 2004, only in Europe. The Davidoff Wagner limited edition was a cigar exclusively created to celebrate 30th anniversary of Wagner Tabac La Deli, one of the first Davidoff appointed merchant in Switzerland. Now, the Davidoff cigar is a beautiful Salomon format featuring complex blend of cigar of tobacco that aged over a decade. The first ever tailor-made cigar exclusively for one of the re specific retailer, a variety of tobacco from various regions of Dominic Dominican Republic, with majority being variety of Lejero tobacco, some even proprietary hybrid seeds developed to grow in different regions. And this is why it scares me, okay? Because this thing is made out of... <sighs> the wrapper is Habano seed grown in Ecuador. The binder is Olo Seco from Dominican Republic. Now, the filler. 14-year-old Samila 100, 100 Lajero. 13-year-old Semvente Lajero. 12-year-old uh, Piolo Cubano Lajero. 9-year-old Semvente Semvente Lajero from Dominican Republic. All that information you can find online. I can't pronounce for shit. So... Is a triple quad Lajero going on here? Uh, being this, this being seven and a quarter by sixty, I am very scared. So this is why I have never smoked one because I think I'm gonna get sick. But Eric is like, ah, you gotta do it. Blah 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 blah. blah. So I kind of had to do it. I make sure I have a super ultra sweet drinks here to keep me alive. And here he goes. Just one single white band, one single oily toothy cigar. Here we go. Now, I'm recording this right now. So I have to take the take the video take the photo right now and send it to the chat room so that he knows I am no joke. Because he posted a picture that says, Oh, today's for real. I'm gonna post one that says two days for real. So let's get one nice photo and let them know two days for real. Okay. I should send it, right? I should I should send it. Here we go. Uh, for real, for real. Okay. So that's that. Now, I don't even know where to start because this cigar, like I say, it scares me. 
very plummy wood, woodsy, very plummy woodsy smell, very deep, almost like a wine or like bourbon or some sort of. No, actually, no. It smells like cognac. That's what it is, cognac. So, you know, I I wanted to add a B roll for you guys on this one because this is just good looking. Here, I will record a close up for you guys. How close can I get? Close, close, close. Oh, too close. Okay. Okay, now this part you suppose probably got to cut it out with this thing, and so that you guys can get a close up how how this looked like. But for those, for if we didn't end up editing that in there, this is a very very serious See, texture, very very textured cigar, very textured. I don't know if anybody can see. That's very textured. So. All right, Wagner, what you got? What you got? Wagner, what you got? Cut and light, let's go. <sighs> Why do you do this to yourself, Tony? Why do you get cigars that you don't know if you can smoke? I don't know. I'm trying to find where the end of the cap is so I can cut it in the angle. Obviously, there's no draw because it's closed foot. So, but it tastes just very, very leathery, like really leathery, leather, leathery. Like that belt your daddy used to whip you, leathery. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Any moment now, any moment I will decide to take a draw and really get myself like I did a lot of preparation today to 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 be able to smoke this. But you know, I just hope I don't get sick tonight because tonight we also had to do a recording for our podcast. So I hope I don't get sick. Okay. Well, it's woodsy and dried peanut shells. Um, Leather, chocolate, espresso, and some sort of bitter spice. Some sort of I'm trying to figure out what that is. Mineral ish thing going on. Some sort of bean. Like a seed. 
Like, uh, I don't know, some sort of grain seed going on. And it's kind of sweet, in a way. So, without getting me sick, I'm gonna slowly enjoy the cigar, and I'll come back one third, and hopefully by then, I'm not puking my lungs out yet. And we'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are at first third. The burn, not too bad, you know, given like I, you know, whenever I burn those Solomon front with a closed foot, they, they don't burn correctly until later on. So that's totally fine. This cigar has got, it's like a good liar, poker face. Because you get very mild, smooth flavors, like woodsiness. Uh, I think I think there's a little bit of cinnamon somewhere. And uh, you get a little bit of leatheriness. And there is some, either cocoa or coffee, very mild of it. And there is this dark, either portobello mushroom or something like some mushroom taste to it. And you forgot that you're smoking a very strong cigar or supposedly really strong because of Lejero. And you just keep puffing it, but I keep my, remind myself, it's like, all right, if you want to find out the flavor, take the term to, to find that note, because if you don't, you're going to get sick. So I'm keep slowing down, keep taking the note, keep, you know, and I, and I forget this is a strong cigar. So in the beginning, it kind of feels like somewhere in the medium plus range, but it goes up and down, right? And then you get that mild, so subtle, not even really there spice. And you have all this flavor. And then at the end of that mushroom note is like caramel sweetness. There's some sweetness to it that, that really deceivingly telling you that the cigar is not strong. Keep going. But I'm gonna take precaution. I'm very careful right now. I'm very, very careful right now. I'm just afraid that I'm gonna catch myself in a few minutes. So, first there, very pleasant. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much this cost. This cost 40 bucks, around 40 bucks when I first bought it. So, uh, keep that in mind. It might not be able to find it anymore, but if you can, when I got it, I think this was 2017 or 2018. Um, it was up 40 bucks. So they made a 2004 and ever since then it's been sitting and aging until they re-released it in 2017, 2018. Very, very rare cigar. Very, very good. But if you can find it, that's one sexy cigar to keep in the box. Keep it in the box. All right. Now I didn't show much about the box, but let's talk about that box. This box is a textured paper box with I think magnet because this thing Closes very nicely. See that? There is a magnet on the lid. So it's very nicely and they just have a like basic foam in there. And I like that they choose black because I guarantee if this was white, it's gonna turn yellow by now. So very nicely done. Um let's see the cello. Kind of yellow, but didn't didn't yellow that much. I'm I'm surprised because this thing sits. It's one of the older cigars that sits in my humidor. One of the ones. So I'm surprised that this cello didn't really change color or whatnot. But you know, I've been aging this thing away from everything else uh, so that it doesn't contaminate the other cigar to be either stronger or carry other flavor that it shouldn't be. Um, in terms of the cigar, uh, like I said, I've been waiting on the cigar. I've been waiting for it to get it get mellower. And people's like, aging is making it better, not making it mellower. Now think of it this way, okay? In, uh, the thing that gets you sick usually is the amount of nicotine, the strength in there that gets you sick. Like a medicine, if you leave the medicine long enough, the medicine no longer work, right? Like say, for example, if you got a bottle of Advil and there is like a two or three years expiration day. That's because the drug goes through a half-life and their half-life basically means the, the strength cut in half at that time. And then continue half, 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 half. So once the, the drug goes through one half-life, that's expiration day. 
and then you another half life that's you know, beyond expiration day. So cigar is the same thing, right? The tobacco go through the half life of its nicotine process, that one, or the process of the the nicotine going half life. So the strain of the nicotine just cut in half as it go a certain amount of time. I'm not saying that the exact time is what I have in the there, but as it goes, it gets weaker uh, in in strength, and, get, and the rest of it gets just more smoother, less punchy because it's half the strength. So, you know, if you have a cigar that's really strong that you can't smoke for a while, leave it. Just leave it for a while and see if you can smoke it after a certain amount of time. But usually it's three months, six months, nine months, a year, two year. You know, give a gap. So right now, between 2017 to now, this is another five years, six year, and you know, six year plus the 12 year doesn't. This cigar is near at the end of its strain. So I'm hopefully this is gonna stay medium plus, so I can smoke the entire thing. All right. So yeah, let me get through the second half of a second third, and um, we will talk about if second third have anything other than mushroom. All right. Second third, I'm surprised I didn't get sick yet. But second third, see, it started to burn pretty well. Ignore the ash because all the ash is on my ashtray. So, yeah, um, it's a manly flavor cigar. It's like woodsy. It's like, like I said, mushroom. I don't know why. A leathery, a little bit earthiness. And there is some really light tingly. You would think that's like chilly, but it's tingly. So it's not crazy. I think this cigar will go very well with a nice cup of cognac or scotch. I think I think like some bourbon might be too much to kill this cigar, but you know, scotch, lighter scotch or a uh, nice cognac with a little bit of, like the citrusiness to it. It might go really good. The cigar It's actually burning really well. It smokes really well. And it's got presence when I hold on my hand. Now, now with the ash doesn't look good. Hold on, let me dash that off so I can look like a badass a little bit. Like that. You go out there. This thing's got the size. This is, you know, it, it's classy. It's classy, I think. I feel like it's classy. Now, obviously, the way it's burning doesn't look that classy, but... I think it's classy. And it right now is roughly an hour in, an hour a little bit more in. I still have this much. So it's like, you know, it's burning well, it's good. I'm trying to get the, the flavor. The speed that I'm smoking it makes it a median plus on and off. So it's 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 smokable. It's deal I can deal with it. So if you get a cigar, even though it's so much Lajero in there and it's been aged that long, I think you uh, even if you normally smoke a medium, you'll be able to smoke it. Just have to be very careful. So, yeah, so far pretty good cigar. Is it $40 worth? Yeah, yeah, I, I would say it's $40 worth. $40 worth. And it's, it's really like... The camera probably doesn't show it that well, but like really nice sheen, matte shining, chocolate looking stick. It looks really good. Like I, I, I think the visual impact of this cigar really does well. Very nice looking cigar. Yeah, it's matte, but it's got a sheen to it. So see that? So looks nice, smokes nice. It's not as toothy as I thought it was because when I first look at it, there's something like texture to the cigar. I thought it was going to be toothy, but it's not. It's smooth. It's very, very smooth, um, mellow body, but yet flavorful cigar. So really depends on the person who's smoking it and your condition that you're smoking it. So let me smoke the last third. We'll go to the summary. Hopefully this thing brings me some surprises. With that many tobacco in that different tobacco in the filler, give me some surprises. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. We're back. Got to take my hat off. But um, let me. Last stir, there's a little bit more pepper. 
especially if you retro hill and the rest stays the same strength ramp up just close i think it will be full um like i start to feel a little bit more strength when i'm smoking the last third to a point where i want to make sure i don't get sick took off my hat get some air and i gotta tell you when i leave the room and i come back the room smells great so this cigar is giving off a really good smell really good smell woodsy leathery mushroomy this is what this cigar is like like i say it's uh almost dripped the drop the ash on me so overall i think the cigar is pretty good uh, it's actually more mellow than i thought now that it sits for this long very enjoyable so i will say it's worth the 40 bucks uh if you can find it um it depends on the person too got to be very careful about the strength burns well smokes well uh the draw is not too bad overall pretty good now there's not much to say about the band standard davidoff band so i'm not gonna waste time with waste your time to just talk about the band so nothing about the band cigar is pretty good special was made for that place and you know came to america uh definitely have that presence when you hold it so overall good cigar but we'll have to see what eric says so make sure since it's a double review go watch smoke one if you have one's review on this particular cigar and see what he says maybe he doesn't like it maybe he likes it so and if both the cigar review are good you know go seek for it maybe that will be a cigar that you like too not a cigar i smoke every day though because i feel like i'm tiptoeing around it and like i'm really afraid to get sick i don't want to get sick so you know there's that right there's that so that's it for this cigar review i hope you enjoy it some cigars that's different um and if for those people who are looking for it i hope you find it you know the, the whole point of a cigar is to smoke everything that you can possibly find so i hope you find it and if you like this cigar review make sure to like subscribe comment share it and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys